Assalamu alaikum students. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to online basis education. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sharmin Arma, your English language teacher from Campus 1, Standard 6. Let's begin. Today, we are going to learn article. So we already know, but still, only I need to, uh, I'd like to give you the definition of article. Articles are word that define a noun as specific or unspecific. That means it will be used in a, before a noun and also it will modify a noun, right? And we already know a, an, and the are articles, but we can classify this into two types, which is indefinite and definite. Indefinites are a or an. And A or M are used in general purpose in a sentence and of course before a countable noun, no uncountable noun. It will be used before a countable noun. For example, give me a pencil. Here, give me a pencil. You are asking for any pencil. So it is a, for a general purpose and pencil is countable noun. So give me a pencil is a, in, an in example of indefinite article. Whereas definite article are, is the, right? And where we should use it? We should use it for, to, or in a sentence to specify or to make a unique noun. And of course we can use countable, uncountable both nouns uh, to use the, and for example, give me the pencil that I gave you to write. Here in this sentence, you can see the pencil is specifying that one which you give to write. So give me the pencil that I gave you to write. All right. So now we are going to look at when to use a or an there's a lot of rules uh, you will see find, uh, finding your books and also i'll be providing you in here in this lesson okay so let's look at the screen so when to use a and when to use an so at the beginning we know that there's 26 letters from there we know five vowels in english grammar, right five vowels we know what are they Exactly. They are A, E, I, O, U. I'm not writing it on the screen because these are very uh, common to you, right? And the rest are called consonants. So 21 consonants and 5 vowels. And if the noun it sounds like a vowel at the beginning, we are going to use an. And for vowels, we are going to use an. And if it sounds like a consonant, that means we are going to use A before that. For example, as you can see in uh, the A and side, uh, we are going to use such examples like and. We are using and before that because and is beginning with A, which is a vowel. Then enemy, and, enemy, and ice cream and orange and umbrella as you can see a e r o u are our five vowels okay so that's why i have given such examples and lastly there's our so this word our is pronouncing like our which is a vowel sound it's not we are pronouncing how are we are saying we are we are saying our that's why we are using and before our Let's look at the example for A. A boy, a woman, a horse, a book. So this example showing that the letter which is beginning at the, uh, with the word is consonant uh, letter, right? That's why we are using A before this nouns. See, European. You can say, ma'am, there's an E here at the beginning. So E is a bubble. So why we are not using N here? Because E this sounds like consonant here. U, European, it sounds like EU. Y, O, U. So that's why we are not using N before that. Uh, university, U is sounds like U, not A. Uh. That's why you're using A here. And lastly, uh, one taka note. O is pronouncing like wa that's why we are using a before that all right 
Now, we will see that when to use the, all right? There's a, there's a lot of rules in your books, in your textbook, but I have also given it here so that you can see and practice it at home, okay? The first one, specific people or thing. When you are using the, that means you are specifying our unique name you are addressing in the sentence. For example, the girl who is dancing, the watch that I gave you, etc. Another one with unique things. For example, the sun, the moon, these are unique things. These are one type of thing. That's why we are using the before this nouns. Another one in some time expression, for example, the morning, the day after tomorrow, the future, the past, etc. When you are pointing a compass, for example, the east, the south, the north, that time you are using the. Another one with some words referring to nature environment for general, like the countryside, the mountains, the weather, etc. And lastly, we have the famous rivers, oceans, some building names, for example, the Jamuna, the Taj Mahal, the United Kingdom, etc. All right? Now we will see them. So, demonstratives are used to state the distance of what the speaker is referring. Okay. Like they tell us whether an object is close to you or far away. So here I have made a table so that you can see that where to use for singular words, you are going to use which determiners. For example, if it is singular, if the object is near to you, you are using this. If it is in plural, you are using this, this, T-H-E-S-E. -E. Okay, and if the object is far from you, you are using that for singular purpose, and for plural, you are using those. All right? Now, we'll see process. So, Possessive pronouns are words that are used to show ownership. When you are saying ownership, like this object is mine, my, her, his, okay? This time you're using possessions. These are showing possessions, right? Possessions to someone. That means the ownership of someone. So for singular, for first person, you're using my, for first person, my, and if it is plural, they're using our okay my pencil or if it is plural our pencil for second person it remains the same it's your pencil your pencil for both the singular and plural and lastly we have third person which is he is her is for singular purpose and for plural we are using there not t-h-e-r-e -E, we are using t-h-e-i okay so this is it thanks all Keep practicing. Take care. Goodbye.